Walt Disney World is the home to over a hundred bars and lounges, and we plan to visit them all. Yesterday, we visited the Polynesian Resort, where we went to Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. We're going to let you know what we think about it. Trader Sam's is at the Polynesian Resort, one of the originals, opened in 1971, themed, they say South Seas or South Pacific, so think Hawaii, which explains why they have a lot of Kona beers at the Kona Polynesian. Beer. And then in 2015, Trader Sam's opened, and that's the small lounge that we visited. It's open every day from 3 p.m. till midnight. Um, it's kind of nondescript. It's in this back hallway as you pass Captain Cook's. Um, there's this long hallway out towards the back of the resort and the door, you almost walk right past it and don't see it. In fact, when we were there yesterday, a woman stopped and grabbed her friend and said, there's a bar right there. So you could walk right by it and not even know. Captain Cook's being the counter service food area that's right behind the, the lobby. Beyond the lobby, exactly. And as with most Disney bars, it's themed. This one's themed pretty pretty heavily. It is themed nautical, or think um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, the, the, the attraction from Adventureland and Magic Kingdom that closed quite a few years back. But it's pretty themed, it's, and it's dark. I mean, if I, had to, Super dark. if I had to describe the theme, it's dark and noisy. Yeah, don't go there if you want to have like a quiet conversation. No, this is like very raucous and loud and in, in the theme again, they say it's basically adventure land from the Magic Kingdom. Mm -hmm. is, that's the theming. Uh, this Trader Sam's at Walt Disney World is um, almost like a companion or a follow-on to the Trader Sam's on the West Coast. So the West Coast one, I understand, is Trader Sam's Enchanted Tiki Room, themed very much on Jungle Cruise and the Enchanted Tiki Room where this one is themed more 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Cool. Um, and again, lots of artifacts, lots of things going on. And again, dark, um, dark and very noisy. Dark, noisy, busy, chaotic, fun. It's a lounge, so no one goes there for the food. It's about, it's about the drinks, right? It's Beer, they have beer there, mostly Kona. They have all the Konas, the IPA, the Fire Rock, the Big Wave, and there's a Kona beer flight, which we didn't get. But I think they're mostly all about their signature cocktails. Yeah, they have loads of specialty cocktails with some wacky names. Um, the Polynesian Pearl, the Nautilus, the Aoa. A lot of them have a little shtick to them. So if you order particular drinks, the wait staff go into these funny little... I don't know if you want to call them skits or whatever, and it's sort of a Shticks. a group involved thing. It's so much fun. Um, Kevin and I did not order those types of drinks. Um, I got the Spiced Island, which is think like uh, old fashioned, but with almost um, holiday kind of spices in there. It was so good, so good. Right, and I got the Rosita as Margarita, <laughs> which was good. I love a margarita. It was well done. Plenty of salt, which makes a margarita. So I wouldn't say like, oh, that's the best margarita I've ever had, but definitely, but good. definitely well done. And when you said those kind of drinks, meaning we didn't order drinks that trigger some of the shenanigans. Right. And it wasn't by design. It was just, I almost didn't know at the time that certain drinks were what trigger these... And they, some people refer to them as special effects because right. it's not just doesn't it doesn't just trigger some nonsense from the wait staff. No, the, the theme of the, the weather changes, the weather changes, the lighting changes, or the whole bar dives and submerses. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and, you have to swim. And actually, there's some people that make the reference that it's very similar to what used to be the Adventurers Club. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm
for getting on for our boy who is a good friend. It's a pretty small place. There's only, what, six bar stools at the bar. Oh, we counted. Less than 10, I think. Six, I think it was six bar stools at the bar. and then But there is all this sort of comfy seating all around the edges and then a big, long, family-style high top in the middle. Um, maybe we estimated seats 50 people tops. Oh, talking about the seats. <laughs> There's something funny about the seats. You'll have to go no. to see what Tell it is. Them. Okay, if you remember the Adventures Club, from time to time, you'd be sitting in a bar stool and all of a sudden you'd feel yourself going up going or down or getting lower. So, and they kind of incorporated that. So they can control the bar stools. Because actually there was one point when we were there and the bartender, Robin. Robin, he was hilarious. Great bartender, Robin. Yes. And he was making fun of one of the women there saying, you don't look old enough to drink. And that's because they, had, they smaller. had shrunk her and she was barely looking right. over the bar. So be aware if you sit on a bar stool, they can raise or lower your seat there. Right. Which, back to the Adventurers Club thing, that's probably why people make the correlation because that used to happen at the Adventurers Club exactly. at Pleasure Island as well. Exactly. It's in your head. So back to the fact that it is a small place. Um, when we got there yesterday, they had only been open for about 45 minutes, um, but we're already on a two-hour wait. So right. we tried to we tried to shoot for get to get there at opening at three, but <laughs> right. we were Typical running a little, running a little late. late. But still, only 45 minutes after they had opened, and they were on a wait. And they. They quoted a two-hour wait, and I would say that it was pretty much spot on. Two hours later, we got the text message saying that we would be right. next. They, they take your, your name and your phone, and they you can go off and do whatever you have to do, and they'll send you a text message. So mm -hmm. they did? Yep. Yep. But while you're waiting, there's things to do. The Polynesian, there's a bar in the lobby where you can go and get yourself a Kona. And if not, there is what's known as the Tiki Terrace. Yep. So Trader Sam's Tiki Terrace it's an outside bar, and I'm assuming they, they serve all the same signature drinks. Most of the same drinks, most of them. So mm -hmm. it's outside, behind Trader Sam, on the terrace, looking over the seven seas, so you can yep. see the water, you can see the Magic Kingdom over in the distance. Yep. There's usually entertainment, guy playing the ukulele. <laughs> Very different vibe outside. You're not going to get the shtick with the signature cocktails. Um, it's not loud and raucous. It's an outdoor terrace, like you said. But you could pregame there. We've been to the Tiki Terrace for drinks before. We have a video, and we'll put a link up, somewhere. Up above or down so below. So check that out. That's the outside, um, right behind the mm -hmm. Trader Sam's Grog Grotto. Say that ten times it's fast. hard to say. And because Trader Sam's is at the Polynesian... It's on the monorail loop, so whether you're at the Magic Kingdom and looking to sneak out to get an adult beverage because it's pretty dry there, you can get on the monorail, shoot over to the Polynesian, or if you're doing the infamous monorail crawl and doing all the bars on the monorail loop, that's obviously one of the top choices. I really like it there. I've, I'm, I like it there too. 
I'm always a sucker for themed restaurants, like the theme, I mean, as long as they have something to drink, but the theme is really, I'm all about that. I mean, it is a theme, it is a theme park. I know, true story. I used to love the Adventurers Club. Mm -hmm. Because it's so small and they pack so many people in there, it's pretty loud. And then with the whole specialty drinks, special effects shtick thing, it gets really loud, which is great. But two things, I can only take that for so long. Yeah. And because the drinks trigger the little show, it's all based on what people order. So even in the short time we were there, somebody was ordering the same drink. So you went through the same, you know, it show can get repetitive. each time. So it can get repetitive. Yep. But that's fine. It's it's one of those places where you go for a short period of time, Spend very enjoyable, an hour or two. and then move and on. And then move on. Perfect monorail crawl spot. Resort and swap. If you're standing, hold on to some handrails and do not lean against the automatic doors. Follow. 